Hi, my beautiful star seeds. Welcome back to Irene the Cocoa Queen. So today we're gonna to be making almond lemon cookies. Now, the reason why I love these cookies so much is because they're gluten-free. Not that I'm gluten-free, but I know there's a lot of people out there who are gluten-free. And also these are oil-free. So we're just using water to bring the dough together. And they're absolutely delicious. But before we get into the video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you can be notified every single time we upload a video. So let's get in the kitchen. The first thing we're gonna do is take a cup and a third of almond flour, and we're going to place it into a nice big bowl. So now we're gonna add in three tablespoons of tapioca starch, four tablespoons of oat flour. Now remember, if you're gluten-free, you're definitely gonna to wanna to find gluten-free oat flour, or you can just get gluten-free oats and grind them up yourself. And lastly, a teaspoon of baking powder. So what you wanna do now is just with a whisk, you wanna combine all the ingredients together, and you can notice that there are some lumps. So you just wanna make sure that you mix it up until all the lumps are gone. So now that there are no lumps in our dry ingredients, we're just going to set this aside, and we're gonna get out our wet ingredients, okay? So what we're gonna do is to our bowl of agave nectar, as you can see here, we've got a quarter cup of agave nectar. We're gonna add in a tablespoon of coconut sugar. And to that, we're adding in a teaspoon of lemon juice. So you just wanna mix the agave nectar up with the coconut sugar. If you don't wanna use agave nectar, you can also use maple syrup or any other sweetener that you desire. So what we're gonna do is take our sugar and lemon mixture and we're going to pour it into the dry ingredients. This is gonna give it such a nice sweet flavor. Along with that lemon juice, it's gonna be absolutely delicious. So what we wanna do now is just mix it up together. And you're gonna notice that it's a little bit crummy. Don't worry about it because we're gonna be adding in some water. So like I said earlier, this is an oil-free recipe and we're gonna be using water instead of oil. So super healthy. Okay, so do you see the texture we have here? It, it sort of looks like we're making a pie crust. So what we're gonna do now is add in three tablespoons of filtered water. And this should be enough to bring the mixture together. So just wanna mix it up. I know at first it's like, there's no way this is gonna to come together but it will. So our cookie dough has come together nicely. And at this point, you can actually flavor it with any spices that you like. I'm not gonna do that because this is gonna be more of a lemon almond cookie, but you could add in some Indian spices or some cardamom, you can just get creative. So let's do the next step, which is grating the lemon zest. Now I recommend you at least put in two teaspoons of lemon zest so that you really get that lemony flavor. If you don't want your cookies to be, to have a lot of lemon flavor, then you don't have to put in a lot of lemon rind at all or lemon zest. So once our lemon zest is in the cookie dough, we're just going to mix it up. Make sure you mix it up well. And now all that's left to do really is shape our cookie dough into balls or any shape that you guys like and then pop it in the oven for 10 minutes. It's a very easy recipe. So using a cookie scooper, I'm just gonna scoop it out and we're just going to place it on here and flatten it out, just like that. So there you go, I've shaped my eight almond lemon cookies. Uh, if you guys want more cookies, you can always roll out your dough between two pieces of parchment paper and use a smaller cookie cutter, okay? Because I just use my hands to roll these, but if you use something like this, which is much smaller in size and also um, in width, then you'll get about 16 cookies. So I've placed the cookies on a baking tray and I'm gonna bake these in the oven at 170 degrees Celsius for about 10 minutes. So there you go, star seeds, delicious almond and lemon cookies that only take 10 minutes to bake. They're oil-free and they're gluten-free. So there you have it. These are light, chewy on the inside and great with any tea or coffee or anything. Let's try out these cookies. <laughs> See if they're any good. Mmm. 
so soft and chewy. Mmm. Very lemony. Mmm. Very lemony. And the texture is so soft and chewy. Okay, these are really good. I think these are excellent. Okay, star seeds, we hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, smash that like button. Don't forget to subscribe because we are here every single week providing you with delicious plant-based recipes just for you. So we'll see you guys next time.